This video is to go over the basics of the Fireboard drive functions. When you power on your Fireboard and plug in temperature probes and then open the Fireboard app, you land on this dashboard chart view. Notice that there are no drive options. You must have a fan connected in order to see drive functions. You'll see the drive icon appear in the corner and then the drive tab appear in the app. The control channel is typically the port in which you plug in the ambient probe. Tap here to designate a control channel, and this is used as the drive benchmark. Tap here to assign a set point. This is the temperature that the drive will reach and maintain. You'll notice that we're now in auto mode. Assigning a set point puts the drive into auto mode, and will put the fan up to the speed necessary to reach the temperature. When the set point is reached or nearly reached, the fan may reduce speed in order to avoid overshooting. You can manually set the fan speed as well. Notice that this changes the mode from auto to manual. Now we're going to go over drive settings. Tap the wrench icon in the top right corner. If you have more than one Fireboard connected to your account, you can choose which device you're changing settings for. Here you can toggle on or off the lid detection feature and set duration minutes. Notifications and alerts for the internal speaker only applies for the FBX11 and FBX2, which requires the Fireboard drive fan cable to operate drive. We recommend version 3 for the PID mode. You can learn more about PID on our knowledge base. If you're using a fan other than the Fireboard drive blower, you might need to alter the fan mode. You would use large fan in order to boost the voltage that goes to the fan to get it started. Again, this is used for very large fans. You can also cap the max fan speed that's used during auto mode. This page can also be reached in the Manage Device page. under Drive Settings. You can view the drive activity on your chart by tapping Drive. Green shows the fan speed, the set point is indicated by the blue lines, and any active channel with a probe is shown. Tap Drive again to only show the control channel, fan speed, and set point and tap again to return to the view without drive. Remember, you can also operate drive functions via the Fireboard unit itself, which is explained in a separate video. Drive programs are set in the Programs tab. We'll go over drive programs in a separate video. Make sure you visit our knowledge base at docs.fireboard.io for more information about drive operations and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. You can also like us on social media. Thanks for choosing Fireboard.